I'm Froggy and welcome to another 360 doll room tour or doll zoo tour in this case. We had so many requests for the zoo that we just had to set it up and it was so much fun because we used our slime waterfall as an addition to our zoo. So before we get started, let me explain how the 360 camera works for those of you hey, who may be uh, new to this. So if you're on a phone or tablet, you can just move your tablet, pick it up and move it around and you'll find out that you control the camera and you can look wherever you choose to. If you're on a computer or laptop, you can use your mouse and click the screen and then drag it so that you can see around the room. So that is pretty cool. All right, so you can either choose to look around the room on your own or you can follow me on my tour. My tour is gonna start right now and we are going to look at the entrance of the zoo which says Wildlife Zoo. You know, cause it's a zoo, yeah. You got that part, right? And uh, at the very entrance, you can see there's a little yellow car in the background, a little Emma Swan uh, Volkswagen bug that we painted yellow. And that's gonna be like our parking lot. <laughs> so that's where the dolls park the cars and then they can enter into the zoo. As they come in, they can see the smoothie stand ran by or run by our little Barbie fashionista. And then we can look into our bear habitat. Now when we designed the zoo, we made four separate box rooms, all based off of a separate habitat. So our bear is in our forest habitat. It's, um, it's got a lot of trees. We used a really cool forest print on the background and a lot of stones and stuff like that, but they're not real stones. It's uh, that whole paper mache and cardboard technique that we use for our slime waterfall. It's, the zoo is actually what inspired us to make the uh, slime waterfall, which is in this video, yeah. So if you're scrolling around, you'll see the waterfall, which is incredibly slow. It's like super slow <laughs> because it's slime. And from time to time, you may even see me reaching over the side of the sky to add more slime because it does run out. Okay, back to the tour. So we are looking at our big bear in his little habitat. And then there's the little signs. We even put the little signs in front of most of the habitats so they look like a like the display that explains what's in that habitat. Um, however, we did a generic display. They all say the exact same thing. And so if you move from the wild, uh, the forest habitat to our polar bear habitat or Arctic habitat, you can see the sign a little more clearly. I don't think you can make out what it says, but you can see it. And there is the polar bear. He's so cute. And uh, he's in his little icy habitat. And there's Sophie and Chloe. She should probably really be paying attention to that bear to make sure <laughs> she is a safe distance from it. Um, but apparently Sophie sees something else important or fascinating on the other side. So she's looking over there. Chloe is standing right next to her because you know, they're like the best of sisters. And uh, we can move our attention to the slime waterfall. I hope right now you can see some really good slime action. I'm probably about to refill it in a minute or have just refilled it. Uh, and we have our panda bears there. Why are there panda bears in <laughs> this habitat? Um, I don't know. I thought, you know, maybe the, ha the panda bears had to go to an area that had, you know, a waterfall and there's some bamboo around there because you know pandas eat bamboo and I guess that kind of looks like it could be bamboo I don't you know yeah I just kind of put plants in and fill it in so yeah don't <laughs> don't pay too much attention to the fact that those aren't bamboo but there are trees there lots of trees for our pandas to enjoy and of course a lovely slimy waterfall that is so much fun I actually really enjoy watching the slime waterfall. I don't know why. Like, what is the big thing about slime? It's just, you know, it's slime. So I first thought about it. When I first think about slime, I'm like, ew, yuck, you know, slime. But to watch it move, ah. Uh, and I like watching it move more than I like watching it being stretched. I really enjoy the slime waterfall. I find it quite relaxing to just sit there and watch the slime fall down the waterfall. <laughs> I don't know how much time you're going to spend looking at it, but yeah. Sit there and stare at that slime waterfall for a while. 
hopefully you're at a good moment when I just refilled it and so you got some good slime action. Then we can move to our jungle habitat where we have a beautiful white tiger in there and it looks like Carmen is uh, checking out this exhibit. There is uh, real wood in there. We put some sticks, like I think it's like driftwood. I don't know where I found it. I remember where I found it. I was hiking in the woods in Colorado and I found a stick and I took the stick home and I put it into my doll room. Yeah, so there's a lot of memories in there that I just remembered. Yeah, and um, the jungle is fun because you can actually put the panda bears in there <laughs> instead of the instead of in our waterfall area. You could also put like birds in that exhibit and uh, dinosaurs. So you could very easily turn our zoo into like your own Jurassic World. And we even played with that idea in a Darby show, um, the off script movie as we call it, because we had off script episodes and then we had like, it started with the off script movie. Yeah. Okay, so if you go to that Darby show, you will see that we did turn Jurassic Park, we turned our zoo into Jurassic Park, which was a lot of fun. And it was really easy, because all we had to do was, you know, change out the animals, and then we had a totally different zoo. You can even change all the animals in the zoo to, like, dragons. And there you have, you know, dragon habitats. Or you could put, you know, a rainbow unicorn. Oh, that would be so pretty in the forest to have a rainbow unicorn in there. That would be awesome. And uh, we even have a desert habitat. So if you leave the jungle, you can venture over to the desert. And I put a lion in there <laughs> because, you know, it's the Sahara, you know, it's kind of dry at times. So even though those cactus probably aren't found there, I think they're only found in Arizona. I'm not sure. I know those cactus are specific to a certain area, but it's the scrapbook paper that I had. So, you know, you use what you got in your crafting. And uh, sometimes it's not completely accurate, you know, geographically and all that stuff. So I just say, hey, it's the Dollyverse. And in the Dollyverse, anything goes. So if we have these cactus in the Sahara, then yeah, there you go. They're there. If they really are there, then great. I got it right. If they're not, it's the Dollyverse. That's how I explain it. So it, it makes sense in the Dollyverse where everything makes sense, regardless of if regardless of if it's true or not so yeah just go with it and uh, that brings us back to the entrance where we have little Sophie and Chloe and their uh, their nanny right there that's pretty cool because if you keep moving you see big Sophie and Chloe and if you move back you see little Sophie and Chloe it's let's see even there the dolly verse it works because it's like you know Doctor Who time travel <laughs> in the same place at the same time different versions of themselves that's pretty awesome and in the front of Chloe and Sophie we have um, a little girl with red hair and that is the character that we used for Carmen's younger self I don't know if we really explained her a lot or if you've seen her very much but that is the doll that we think of as being the younger version of Carmen because they both have like red hair and I think she's adorable and if you look at one point the screen you can actually see both of them in the screen at the same time so yeah got a little bit of a time travel issue there <laughs> but it's the dolly verse so yeah it goes and that brings us back to the entrance of the zoo so we went we went all the way around we did a 360 tour and I wonder if you found some Easter eggs now I didn't tell you what they were ahead of time but I'm telling you now we have hidden my mini mixy cues all over our zoo and you have to see if you can find them and count them so how many my mini mixy cues are hidden throughout the zoo and uh, they're kind of some of them are easier to see than others some of them kind of blend into the background or maybe behind something I don't want to give too much away because I'm gonna eventually just tell you exactly where they are and then you know where's the fun in that so just look around and see if you can find our My Mini Mixy Cues, who so just happen to be everywhere, which is like real life because I have My Mini Mixy Cues probably everywhere. I know they're in my purse because I take them with me wherever I go just in case I have an opportunity to take a photo. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> it's not weird, it's awesome. So uh, there is our doll zoo. Just spin the camera around and around and you get to see it all over again. 
just uh, let us know what else you would like to see in our 360 tours. We are always open for suggestions. We love to take requests. So if there's another theme that you would like for us to set up, let us know in the comments down below and we would do our very best to make that happen as soon as we can make it happen. So yay, 360 tours are fun. Look around, have fun, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us and 